everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own little interesting looking title screen. Before we get started though, I do want to say that the title screen music that I'm using is from Audio Micro. And um, so therefore I can't actually give you guys the music. But if you guys want the graphics, just let me know in the comments. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll, I don't know. Or I could upload them, I don't know. Just let me know if you guys want them or not. But anyways, here's what you're going to be making. As you can see how it has like multiple scroll things and different lighting kind of effects. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to be making. Let me go ahead and explain how it's done. First thing you want to do is delete the original scene title. This is important. You have to delete it because we're changing scene base to scene menu base. So delete scene title. Now we're going to type class scene title in our own little script here. And uh, less than greater than sign scene menu base. This is case sensitive for those who have not been watching my other uh, episodes. Anyways, so now we're going to do DEF start. We're going to type super, we're going to type make graphics, make command window, and we're going to type play title music. Then we're going to go ahead and end off that by typing end. Now we're going to do def make graphics, and this is going to make all the graphics. So what we're going to do is we're going to type at, the little at symbol, not the word again. <laughs> so we're going to do at background equals playing dot new. This is very case sensitive. So then we're going to do at background dot bitmap equals cache dot parallax and then you can choose the parallax name here you can find out what parallax is what by looking into your resource manager and going to the parallax section so I chose to use starlit sky you can also use any other graphic you want to again that's all for that one for now now we're gonna do at scroller equals plane dot new this is one this is what's gonna be the scrolling things so you guys seen one of the scrolling things <laughs> so we're gonna do at scroller.bitmap equals cache.picture. Now this is where uh, you guys are going to need the resources. So you're gonna, uh, you would have your own picture here. And uh, you, you, whatever whatever you name the picture is what you put here. Okay, so in my case, I named it scroller. Now at scroller.blendType equals 1. This makes it add to the background instead of just being there. It kind of adds to the background effect. Brightens it, sort of. Depending on whatever its color is. Anyways, um, next we have... At spinny equals sprite dot new. This is sprite, not plain. Yeah. <laughs> at spinny dot bitmap equals cache picture, and then you would have your little rotating picture thing. I chose to have the name spinny, but you can have whatever you want as long as it's the same name as the picture in your resource manager. At spinny dot ox equals at spinny dot width divided by two. This is important because if you don't have this, it's going to be rotating quite weirdly. So you want to actually change the offset X. I think this uh, O stands for. So you want to center the rotation point. You can do that by doing that. Uh, OX equals spinny dot width divided by 2. Same thing with OY equals spinny dot height divided by 2. Doing this, you can center its rotation point, I believe. Then you want to you know, make its X and Y position. I chose to kind of have it like barely on the edge of the screen at the top right. Now, since we did OX and OY, we centered its actual position so zero would okay so zero zero would not mean the top left corner of that picture is at the very top left of the game it would mean the center of the picture is at the very top left of the game so do keep that in mind anyways um, we're just kind of setting its X and Y here next we're gonna do at bars equals plain dot new these are the bars and yeah, you guys pretty much see how this is set up again. At bars dot bitmap equals cache dot picture bars. I also change this blend type, and I change the bars opacity. You can either increase it or decrease it. That that opacity is its transparency level. And uh, at bars dot oy, I kind of moved the bars up because originally my bars were low. You don't have to do this unless like just play around with oy. Uh, for planes, offset y and offset x are the position that they're basically in planes are basically loopable things like it creates an infinite supply of them so you don't have to do this right here um this is just i really should log off steam i apologize <laughs> anyways um this is basically me moving the bars up so you can use ox and oy to move preferably oy because unless you have your scrolling plane up they're moving down up never mind anyways at bars 2 equals plane.new, and we gave it 
the same thing as the first bars, really. It's just a um, different, different OY, and that's about it. So right here uh, we have the at foreground sprite equals sprite dot new. This is where the text comes in. You know, your the the title screen or whatever your text for the title is. And then we do at foreground sprite dot bitmap equals bitmap dot new. Uh, in between parentheses, you would do graphics dot width, comma graphics dot height, and end off the parentheses thing. At foreground dot sprite dot z, or bleh. at foreground sprite dot z equals one hundred. This makes it so that it's in front, pretty much. And then draw game title if dollar sign game underscore system dot opt underscore draw underscore title. In other words, if you have that the the command checked in your database. Then we're gonna uh, end off that and we're gonna type def draw game title. And what we're gonna do here is at foreground sprite dot bitmap dot font dot size. And this is where you can kind of choose the size of the font. 96 is the one I kind of pretty much picked. Then, we, you're, then you're going to do rect equals rect.new. Again, this is very case sensitive. 0, 0, graphics.width, graphics.height, divided by 2. Then you're going to do at foreground sprite dot bitmap dot draw text rect dollar sign data underscore system dot game title comma 1. And we're going to end off that. Here's where uh, the animation part comes in. So you're going to type DEF update, and then you're going to type super. It's very important to have super, otherwise your the thing will lock up. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to type super, and then we're going to do at background.oy plus equals one. This means it's going to be scrolling up at a pixel thing, like at one pixel per frame. And then we're going to do at spinny.angle plus equals five. This is what caused the spinny thing to rotate. At scroller.ox plus equals 15. At bars.ox minus equals 15. At bars2.ox minus equals 20. And uh, that's to have them two different things scrolling at two different speeds, and it causes it to look a little more interesting. Different, you know? So we're going to go ahead and end off the update. And now we're going to do def make command window. Now this is where the title screen comes in. Just copy and paste this from the original. And that's all you really need to do. You just copy and paste the DEF. Copy and paste all of these. The DEF make command window. Uh, DEF command new game. DEF command continue. Command shutdown. And play title music. As well as close command window. You're going to want to copy all of these from the original scene title. And just paste them in your own script. Which is what we made here. And after that you're all set. Just end off the, just end off the class. Make sure you have the proper amount of ends, otherwise you're going to end up with an error and you're going to get frustrated and you're not going to know why. And that creates this. So yeah, you guys can see, all you gotta do is press F12, go back to it. So yeah, that's how you make your own interesting thing. <laughs> see you guys later, thanks for watching.